Meet Carl Caskets, the Clue addicted hardcore Iron Man. Carl lives for Clue scrolls and obtaining caskets. He only completes quests, obtains gear, and trains skills when needed for a Clue scroll. Additionally, he only uses Clue step items and Clue rewards for his equipment. His main goal is to complete every Clue step in the game, starting with every beginner Clue step and ending at Master, without dying or skipping a step. We have a serious problem. This video was supposed to be about me obtaining an Adam and Square Shield, but on March 20th, Jagex decided to release part one of a massive area expansion. Varlamore. This area expansion added new clue steps to the game, including two new easy clue steps, and Carl Caskets is not allowed to move on to the next clue category unless every step is completed in the previous ones. The release of Varlamore has sent Carl Caskets back to easy clues. The two steps to complete are yawn in the Fortis Grand Museum and search the bookshelf with a skull in it inside the burrow, the latter of which is located within the Hunter Guild. When I obtain that clue step, I will be required to get 46 Hunter from my current level of 1. And before even attempting to get a Varlamore clue step, that is Children of the Sun completed, which unlocks Varlamore for Carl. I know normally I need to get the clue step first in order to do a quest, I really do didn't even want to risk getting into another situation like the Canifus step in Priest in Peril. And if you don't know about that, watch episode 7. It's time to obtain easy clues, and this time I won't be killing Minotaurs. That's right, for once Carl does not need to kill for his best chance to obtain a clue scroll. I'll be starting by pickpocketing ham members, a method I was locked out of before because I didn't have the thieving level. But now, Carl has the level from his medium clue endeavors, which enables him to this new method. Once these two steps are completed, it's back to the medium clue grind, which will also be impacted by the Varlamore release. More on that later. Level 20 thieving, and I still can't get in the ham hideout. 21 thieving, 22 thieving. Oh, first easy clue. Let's go. That took me 53 pickpockets. Not too bad. The rate is 1 in 50. All right, first step. Is it a Varlamore step? It is not. Next step, Wayne's Chains, my favorite guy. Oh, it's a two-step clue. Oh, it's a duplicate bronze kite shield G. Have a suspicion I would have received a master clue scroll. Well, that is unfortunate. We are probably going to get that notification quite a bit. Though thieving is probably one of my least favorite skills in the game. This is a really good excuse to actually train the skill now that I have this method unlocked. It kind of sucks at early levels, but as I level up, this will become better and better. If I have to do enough of it, I might even unlock a medium clue method through thieving. 23 thieving obtained. Oh, easy clue number two. And search the boxes of Falador's general store. Another Falador step. Step number two, Falador shield shop. Morgan and Drainer. Casket number two of the day. And nothing. 481 easy treasure trails. That means only 19 more until we get our first milestone reward. 24 thieving. Hey, 25 thieving. 26 thieving. Clue scroll number three, Falador. Step number two. Oh, yo, I actually got one of the steps. Search the bookshelf with a skull on it inside the burrow. This is the one that I need 46 Hunter for to get to the Hunter's Guild. Oh, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and head over there just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure I need to be able to get into the Hunter Guild first. There it is, the Quetzal. Yo, take me to Varlamore. Let's do it. Welcome to Fortis. This place is crazy. And as much as I want to go and just literally explore everything in this city, I am here for one thing and one thing only, and that is to go to the Hunter Guild. Okay, here we are. Can I climb down these stairs? I don't think you're ready to go into the burrow. I need, yep, 46 Hunter to access the burrow, which is what I need to complete the clue step. So guaranteed we do in fact need to go train some Hunter. Let's first take a look at the Iron Man guy for training Hunter. Let's see here. Mm, early training quests, can't do that. Passive training, birdhouse trapping. Yeah, we're gonna have a problem. Birdhouse traps are the pretty 
typical way, but the reason I can't do them is I don't have Fossil Island unlocked, which requires a couple quests, so we're gonna have to get creative. First, I need some equipment to effectively actually train my hunter. Bonza, mate. That is the Varrock Museum done, which gets me to level 9 Slayer, but more importantly, level 9 Hunter. Now the real hunter training starts. I've never really trained early hunter before, so this is new to me, but I'm currently hunting Feldip Weasels, which is very similar to how you would normally hunt herbivore. You basically have to follow the trail and search all the bushes and plants around where that trail is leading you to. At the end of the trail, you find a bush where it is, you attack it, and bada bing bada boom, you get level 10 hunter. I'm doing this all the way from level 9 to level 15 hunter, so I will see you guys in a bit. And finally, 15 hunter, and I can see why nobody actually does this to train hunter. Now I catch copper long tails and ruby harvest from 15 to 29 hunter. Strategy is to lay down the bird trap while simultaneously catching all the butterflies. Whenever the bird snare actually catches a bird, I go and harvest that. Otherwise, I'm catching the butterflies in between for efficiency. Twenty-eight hunter, which is actually huge because I can catch gourmet implings. One of the best ways to farm easy clues. Gourmet implings actually give you easy clue scrolls at a rate of one in twenty-five. So as long as I can get access to Puro Puro, this could be one of my best methods of obtaining easy clues in the future, which I am only able to do because Varlamore came out. Twenty-nine hunter, I can now trap swamp lizards, which is my next destination for hunter training. Welcome to my hunter training method from level 29 to 43. Thirty-two hunter, thirty-eight hunter, and just like that, forty-three hunter. Nobody saw this coming, but I can now catch spotted kebits, which is my next training, and will finish up the hunter grind from forty-three to forty-six. I'm gonna miss the swamp, man. I really enjoyed my time here. Carl caskets has a falcon. 44 hunter, 45 prayer. I just got mystic might. And there it is, 46 hunter. We can now access the hunter guild and take on tier one hunter's rumors. Let's go do our clue step. Took me about three hours, 29 minutes to get it done. Not too shabby. On top of getting 46 hunter for this clue step, it also unlocked the ability to catch gourmet implings, as I mentioned before, one of the best methods for obtaining easy clues. But now we're only four levels away from catching eclectic implings as well, which means I almost have a new best way of obtaining medium clues too. There's potential here with the release of Varlamore to heavily alter the way that I would have been farming these clues out for the rest of the series. As we all know, I cannot directly train Hunter just to get to level 50 for obtaining medium clues from eclectics, but I can catch gourmet implings to get my easy clues, which might get me to 50 Hunter by itself. Without further ado, do search the skull on the bookshelf, get another easy clue, and the last step of this clue, search for a crate in a building in Heminster. One final Varlamore step to go, and then we can go back on track to our medium clue adventures. Casket obtained. Any new loot from this one? <gasps> Absolutely nothing. That was the part of the video where I attempt to find a wheat field that allows me to enter Puro Puro. If you don't already know, Puro Puro is basically a giant place where there's a bunch of implings that you can easily access. The easiest way to get there is by going through Xanarus, which requires Lost City, but I don't have that done, so I need to find a random wheat field where there is a crop circle. Hey, we found one that didn't take too long. And our first journey into Puro Puro magic butterfly net obtained. And now we are ready to catch a ton of implings. As you can see, the experience from catching each of these implings is not much. Even catching an essence impling, only 29 experience. So getting the experience needed for 50 just by doing easy clues and catching gourmet implings is possible. Depending on how long it takes to get the yawn in the Fortis Museum step, we might be here for a while, anyways. Two cooked Haram ones. 
ones. That's so good. I'm keeping those. Hey, our first easy clue. What do we get? It is a map. Looks like the Varrock Mine. Step two, we start doing. Oh, two-step casket. And we get, yeah. Do I get another easy clue from these seven implings? Nope, but I did get three noted shark. Let's go. Hey, another easy clue. Catherby, speak to Hans. Another two-step casket. Another big load of nothing. And casket obtained. The loot is... Clue number seven of the grind, Taverly. Gives us a casket. It's a typical easy casket. What can I really say? We've got an easy clue and a fish pie. And uh, no collection log slots from these caskets yet. Can I really expect a collection log slot? I can't. There's still 28. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, 28? 28, that's 48, my guy. Collection log slots to fill in. Hey, I actually got a collection log. I got the beanie, finally, on clue number 497. We got a new piece of fashion scape. That puts me at 84 out of 131 easy treasure trails. Three more to go until our big milestone reward. And I am very, very happy. First hunter level here at Piro Piro, level 47 obtained. Casket number 499. Casket number 500 gives us our large spade. As a reward for completing over 500 easy clue scrolls, you have obtained the large spade. Our first milestone reward on the account. It's beautiful. And let's wield this bad boy. Oh my god. God, I can't believe we already have the milestone reward. It's so crazy. 21 easy clue scrolls completed so far. We got to keep going. We need that last Varlamore step so we can go back to our mediums. We are a true clue scroll champion. We are a master of the easy clues. I freaking love this thing. All right, this man walks up to you and tells you to subscribe to the channel. What are you going to do? That's right, subscribe. It has been 10 days so far in total, and Carl has relentlessly continued to grind easy clues. What, do you think I'm gonna make an exception or something? No. Instead of forcing you to watch 10 more minutes of me brainlessly catching implings and doing the same clue steps over and over, I'm gonna summarize. I've done 52 easy clues, still need the step, and have not gotten any collection log slots. Carl is 49 hunter. Now, for some real content. <laughs> It's been a while since I've done any sand crab training. Real content. What? What the fuck? To get easy clues, but I figure I might as well while I'm editing. This is actually a new sand crab spot. They added a bunch of sand crab locations to the beach in Varlamore. You cannot tell anyone about this, okay? This is between me and you. And the nice thing about doing this while editing now is the one hour clue juggling timer. It is super easy for me to just stay here during the entire editing process. So I'm done editing, I can do whatever clues I have available. It is very much time for a clue break. Talk to Rusty, casket obtained. We have two easy caskets here. Can we get our first collection log slot? And I don't even know how many caskets at this point. No, and yes, ancient page two. Finally, a new collection log slot. And that is actually my second fully completed god book, which is really cool. So one day I will have my full book of darkness, I believe is what it is. Another three easy clues. It's time for a clue break. Cask it, number one of three casket after three steps 57 easy clues since we started the grind and still one step to go one two three yes! oh green elegant skirt yes we got a collection log slot and that's a pretty good one to get as well because it's a little bit more rare i'm very happy with that to be honest and the final crab session for now up to 79 attack 79 hp and we have four clue scrolls let's see if one of these can be the one search for a crate in varrock castle alcarid palace casket wayne's chains in falador and our second casket only two steps on that one can we get a third casket one more clue scroll one more chance to get this clue step step number two dance in the shack in lumbridge swamp another emote step another two-step casket let's go ahead and open these caskets nothing 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 and number four 
We are at 540 easy clues. That makes a total of 61 easy clue scrolls since we've started the grind. I'm gonna choose to look at the silver lining. I'm not 50 hunter yet, but if I can get that level, it's gonna make my medium clue grind probably a lot faster versus always having to kill guards. It gives me an opportunity to train other skills other than combat, and that's something that I think is worth waiting for. We are back at it, the casket. <laughs> Hello, Cecilia. I'm here to play you a song. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, th thank you for the casket. Thank you so much. What's inside? Oh, it's a duplicate Guthix robe top. Thank you, Cecilia. I'm so grateful. Hey there, bartender. I'll have one blue scroll, please. Thank you very much. Casket number 64. What do we got? Oh, Highwayman mask. Collection log slot. All right, I'll wear it while I do the next couple clue scrolls, if you insist. I don't know what these monkeys did to me, but I need that clue scroll. Carl somehow managed to get some wheat stuck on his feet from Puro Puro. Wayne, I am sorry I'm bringing an absurd amount of wheat into your store, but I really need this clue scroll. I managed to lose the wheat off my feet and get another clue scroll from this tool leprechaun. One casket, please. We get nothing. We have another clue scroll. Yeah, go monks. Search the crates of the Northern Gate guardhouse in East Ardoin. I didn't read that. I just read the words out of order. Crate, step number three. <gasps> yes, yes. Yes, I'm done. Yes. Oh, 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 oh my god. Yes, I'm done. Yawn in the Forest Grin Museum. Equip any emerald necklace, blue skirt, and turquoise gnome rope top. Yes. Oh, clue scroll number 66. Yes. Oh, oh my god. I'm so happy. I didn't quite get to 50 Hunter, but that does not mean that I'm never going to do easy clues again or that I'm never going to train a Hunter again. So I don't even think I have any of these items. I'm going to have to go grab these real quick. Rometty. One turquoise robe top. Acelia, one blue skirt, please. And finally, one emerald necklace. I think Carl, I think Carl's feeling a little tired. Oh, is that, oh, you're, you're, oh, a casket. Oh, what do we get? Nothing, but I don't even care. 545 easy clues completed to get caught up on every easy clue step. Now, how the hell am I gonna get an adamant square shield?